Lesson 12.4, Describe Sides of Polygons. When lines cross or meet, they're called intersecting lines. This line intersects this line, and it makes an X. And intersecting lines form angles. These two intersect and form an angle right here. Intersecting lines that cross or meet to form right angles are perpendicular lines. So these are all perpendicular lines because they make right angles in the middle here. See? We have two here, one on this side, one on this side, and we have one up here and one down here. Parallel lines are lines that never cross or meet and are always the same distance apart, and they do not form any angles. So these two are parallel to each other. They'll never cross or meet. And so are these, and so are these. And they could be farther apart from each other or very close to each other. And one way to remember that this word, parallel, is for these lines is that there's two L's in the word parallel that look like parallel lines. A polygon is a closed shape made of line segments that meet only at their endpoints. We learned about that in the last video, 12.3. And of course, that's linked in the description if you need it. So here's a trapezoid. It has perpendicular lines that make two right angles. And it has one pair, one set of parallel lines. And it has four intersecting lines that form four angles. It has one, two, three, four intersecting lines that make one, two, three, four angles inside. If we extend the orange lines upward on this trapezoid, they will intersect up here, and the trapezoid will become a triangle. And perpendicular lines are special because they are intersecting lines that cross or meet, and they form right angles. So they do both. They have intersecting lines and make right angles, so they're special. Rectangles have two pairs of parallel lines and four perpendicular lines that form right angles. These top and bottom are parallel, the left and right are parallel, and we can see the four right angles inside. We need to identify the orange lines that make the sides of these shapes. So in this quadrilateral, does it have intersecting lines for orange lines? Don't worry about the black ones. We're only talking about the orange ones. Do those lines intersect? No, they don't. Are these orange lines parallel lines? If you said yes, you're right. They are parallel lines. Are the orange lines perpendicular lines? Do they make right angles? No, they don't. Let's look at this triangle. Are these orange lines intersecting lines? If you said yes, you're right. These two orange lines intersect right here. Are the two orange lines parallel lines that never cross or meet? No. We know they intersect right here. They cross right here. They meet right there. Are the orange lines perpendicular lines? Do they cross or meet to form right angles? No, they don't. So this triangle has intersecting lines. Now look at this hexagon and look at the orange lines. Are they intersecting lines? Are those orange lines intersecting each other? Do they cross each other? No, they don't. In fact, if we extended them out on the side, we can really see that they're parallel lines, aren't they? Are these orange lines perpendicular lines? Are they forming right angles where they cross or meet? No, they're not. So these orange lines in the hexagon are just parallel lines. Now look at this quadrilateral. We have this orange line and this orange line. Are they intersecting lines? If you said yes, you're right. They're intersecting right here. 
are the orange lines parallel lines that never cross or meet? No, they're not. They meet right here, don't they? So they're not parallel. Are they perpendicular lines? Do they form right angles where they meet? Yes, they do. They're making a right angle and we can see the little right angle mark symbol right here. It's telling us that it's a right angle, so they are perpendicular lines. This quadrilateral has intersecting lines and perpendicular lines. It has both. All perpendicular lines are intersecting lines, but not all intersecting lines are perpendicular. To be perpendicular, they must form right angles. And some intersecting lines make angles that are greater or smaller than right angles. So here, these are perpendicular lines. They're making right angles in the center. But these are intersecting lines, but they're not perpendicular. There's no right angles here. These two angles are greater than a right angle. And these two angles are less than a right angle. We need to sort each of these shapes and put them in the circle for parallel sides, the circle for perpendicular sides, or where the circles overlap, that would be both parallel and perpendicular. So let's take a look at this hexagon. Does this hexagon have parallel sides? Look at these sides right here, they're parallel. And you know what? These are parallel, and even these are parallel, aren't they? So they have parallel sides. Do they have perpendicular sides? Do any of the sides make right angles in the hexagon? No, I just see parallel sides, don't you? So it's going to go in this circle. What about this triangle? Do you see parallel sides? Sides that never meet or cross? No, all the sides meet each other. What about perpendicular? Do you see any sides that make square corners that make right angles? Yes, I see a right angle right here. In fact, this is a right triangle. It would go right here. See? What about this rhombus? Does it have parallel sides? I see parallel sides here and here. So it has parallel sides, but does it have any right angles for perpendicular sides? No, it doesn't. This is larger than a right angle. This is smaller. This is larger. That's smaller. So it just has parallel sides. Now look at this shape, this quadrilateral. This is actually another rhombus. It's just leaning more, isn't it? It's got more of a slant. And it doesn't have any perpendicular sides, but this side and these sides are parallel, so it goes here with the blue rhombus. What about this trapezoid? Does it have parallel sides? The top and bottom are parallel, aren't they? And the sides aren't, but these top and bottom are parallel. Do you see any right angles for perpendicular sides? No. So it would just go in the circle for parallel sides. Now what about the square? Do you see parallel sides? I see on the top and the bottom, and I see here. So yes, it has parallel sides. Does it have perpendicular sides that make right angles? Yes, it does. Inside there are four right angles in a square. So this is both parallel and perpendicular. We could put it here in between because it's both of them. What about this rectangle? Does it have parallel sides? I see on the top and the bottom are parallel sides, and I see on the left and right are parallel sides. So it's got parallel sides. What about perpendicular sides that make right angles? Yes, inside, just like the square, it's got four right angles. So it's got parallel sides and perpendicular sides. We can put it in the middle with both, just like the square. This cardboard box has many edges. How many of its edges are perpendicular line segments? Well, these are edges. All these are edges coming around. There's some in the back we can't see. 
Well, this box is a cube, and a cube has six flat surface areas. There's four going around, and five, six for the top and the bottom. And each side, each surface, has four perpendicular line segments. And we can do the six surfaces times those four perpendicular line segment pairs, and that's equal to 24. So there are 24 perpendicular line segment pairs. Here we have a riddle. It says, I am a pattern block, that's a shape, that has two fewer sides than a hexagon. I have one pair of parallel sides and no right angles. Which of these shapes am I? We have a hexagon, a square, a trapezoid, a rhombus, and a triangle. We can make a table to solve this riddle. We can make a table showing two fewer sides than a hexagon, one pair of parallel sides, and no right angles, which is what the shape said it had. And we can put our hexagon, square, trapezoid, rhombus, and triangle along the top. And then we can write yes or no under each shape. Does a hexagon have two fewer sides than a hexagon? No, it is a hexagon, so that's a no. Does it have one pair of parallel sides? It has a pair here, a pair here, and a pair here. That's three pairs, so one pair, no. How about no right angles? Does a hexagon have no right angles? Yeah, there's no right angles, so that's a yes. What about a square? Does it have two fewer sides than a hexagon? Well, square has four sides, hexagon has six. And you know what? Four is two less than six, so that's a yes. Does it have one pair of parallel sides? Well, a square has the top and bottom parallel, and it's got these sides parallel, so that's two pairs. So for one pair of parallel sides, that's a no. How about no right angles? Oh, a square does have lots of right angles, so that's a no. We can't say there's no right angles. What about a trapezoid? Does it have two, two fewer sides than a hexagon? Well, a trapezoid has four sides, a hexagon has six, and four is less than six, so that's a yes. What about one pair of parallel sides? Yes, the top and bottom are parallel. That's one pair of parallel sides. And what about no right angles? Are there no right angles here? That's true, that's a yes, there are no right angles. How about a rhombus? It's got four sides, that's two or few sides than six, so that's a yes. One pair of parallel sides? Well, the top and the bottom are parallel and the two sides are parallel, so that's a no. What about no right angles? Are there no right angles? There's no right angles, so that's a yes. That's true. And our triangle, does it have two fewer sides than a hexagon? Well, triangle has three sides. Hexagon has six. That's not two fewer, that's three fewer, so that's a no. Does it have one pair of parallel sides? No, triangles have no parallel sides. That's a no. What about no right angles? Are there no right angles in this triangle? Yes, there are no right angles, so that's a yes. And the answer to our riddle will have three yes answers, three answers that fit, and that is a trapezoid. So now we know what that shape is that has two fewer sides than a hexagon, a pair of parallel sides, and no right angles. It's a trapezoid. There are intersecting lines, parallel lines, and perpendicular lines all around us every day. And if you look around your room or your classroom or your home, even outside, you can find them. They're everywhere. Did you know there's many different types of quadrilaterals? In our next lesson, 12.5, we're going to classify different quadrilaterals. And I'm really proud of you for working on your math, and I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye.